John Linetti's Annabelle, is based on a true story. The real Annabelle does exist. Currently residing in the Warren Occult Museum, in Monroe, Connecticut, the doll is encased in a wooden enclosure, complete with a holy cross and a sign saying, Warning, do not touch. Contradictory to the porcelain Annabelle doll in the film, the real doll was an antique Raggedy Ann. The following facts are the haunting facts, founded by paranormal investigators. She was a birthday gift. Unlike the film, which depicts a husband and wife owning Annabelle, the original doll reportedly belonged to a nursing student named Donna, the doll, gifted to her by her mother, in the 1970s ahead of her 28-year birthday, was purchased at a second-hand Raggedy Ann store. After a few days of owning the doll, Donna's roommate, Angie, was the first one to notice the doll was strange. Mia holds the Annabelle doll, after threatening messages start appearing on her child's ceiling in a scene from the supernatural thriller Annabelle Warner Brothers. It could move on its own. Shortly after being gifted the doll, Donna and Angie noticed she would slightly change positions throughout the day, such as crossing her arms and legs. Over time, they claim she started to move to different locations in their home, several times Donna, placing the doll on the coach before leaving for work, would return home to find, the doll back in her room on the bed, with the door closed, said the Warrens. Write messages. Despite having no parchment paper in their home, the girls would find pencil written notes from Annabelle throughout their apartment. The Warrens claim that, the doll would write help us in what appeared to be the handwriting of a small child. The Spirit of Annabelle Higgins After months of living with the moving doll, and believing the incidents may have all been the results of break-ins, Donna came home one night to find that, Annabelle had blood on her hands and chest. Frightened, the roommates contacted a medium to help, solve the mystery. During a seance a medium, discovered a spirit named Annabelle Higgins, a seven-year-old girl who died on the property, Donna and Angie gave Annabelle permission to inhabit their doll, after the spirit told the medium it felt comfortable living with the girls. Responsible for deaths The Warren says the spirit has tormented several individuals, who have came encounter with the doll. A priest who visited the Warren's home, and insulted Annabelle. 
telling her you can't hurt anyone, was reportedly involved in a near-fatal car crash after the visit. Two of the occult museum visitors, a couple, reportedly crashed their motorcycle, after poking fun at the doll's abilities. The man, said to have slammed on Annabelle's case, died instantly after crashing into a tree, en route home from the museum. His girlfriend survived but was hospitalized for a year after the crash, 